Hey everyone, Tupa A Rockin' here. How's it going? If you haven't seen my recent video of Clash Pater review and my other one here, uh, what is Pater? Hope you enjoy this video as much as I enjoy making it. This one goes out to no offense to somebody. Hope you keep being you. And also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And share out there to everyone out there. This one goes out to Clash Guitars. Well, now it's called Clash. Um, it used to be called Clash Guitars, but then he goes and changes it and all that stuff. Like I said, no offense. Clash, you're still cool, dude, but this one goes out to you. So this is what his bags used to look like. That's a screenshot. Thumbnail. So the new bags, I haven't gotten one yet because I saw something that should never be on shipping. No offense whatsoever. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the video down below in the description from Miller Prospecting. The timing of it all. I came out with a, after I watched, uh, if you haven't seen my video yet, go check it out. I'll have it down below. Um, uh, I saw him do a, what, the truth about gold painter and all that. Then I saw, you know, I had to talk to uh, one of my subscribers. We went out and stuff and he asked me a question. So, again, go check it out. So, the thing is. What Clash is doing, hold on, turn on my music down on this. So, yes, you can't hear music because it's in my headset. I know, wireless. Sweet. So, I will do a thing about this, too. So, the thing is, I ship stuff. I know how to ship stuff. Again, no offense, but you're charging $10 of shipping for something that's half the size of this. This is the, the new size of the bag. The, like $10. Come on. Either use... Um, don't go through USBS. I can't say their name because they screwed me so many times. Again, no offense to anyone that works for USBS. If you don't know what I mean, here's what I mean. So, $10 for a small bag of shipping. Then you're paying for $10 for the bag. That makes sense because we want to see something neat. Ugh. This is what a $10 bag looks like. Ugh. And the shoulder. This is what ten dollars bag looks like. This is what twenty dollars. I know I haven't done these yet. Stay tuned for these. Hold on. But um, this one is from local friend of mine. Doesn't he? No, I know for a fact it has gold, but he doesn't guarantee how much. Cause, yeah, this one. Doesn't say how much, but it's okay. I like to be surprised. No offense, Miller. I get what you're going with. You like to know what the quantity. So if it's called pay dirt, gold pay dirt or whatever, it's a hobby thing. For me, it's a hobby thing. I like to pick it. I get these from shows. These didn't cost me shipping at all. Because I hate shipping with a the passion. There's a reason why. I had something happen to me, and I'm not going to go through it, because, yeah. I have wholesalers that do shipping, and you want to get the good deals. Again, no offense to anyone that works for USBS. Thank you. So, I got these at a show that I went at. I paid $10 for this one. I paid 20 for these two, and these are the right size just dropped it. These are the right size bags for pay dirt. So these, I will be classifying these. 
which uh, you should always classify your feed in. These ones are good ones. How do I know that? Because they're friends of mine. They always dumped it. So, that's fine. So again, the difference, this would have cost 8 to $5 in shipping. This, back in the time when Clash did these kind of feeders, was 5 to $6. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I got. I think I got this from a show at one time where someone gave it to me. I wouldn't pay $10 for that. The only reason why he's... Here's a little thing. Hello. Here's a little thing. The reason why he's... You're paying ten dollars for this size of probably is that size. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. For I think it's that it looked like that in the video. Um, three day shipping is this. Yeah, no. Again, in my video, I explain how you should only buy pay dirt from people that you know. Clash is a good prospector, and I know the type of dirt he goes through. It's like small stuff, and I really get that. Just like um, Flowers of Gold, his stuff. I think I said it right. I'll put it right here. Cool dude. I like talking to him. I'm part of his Patreon. If you hold on, here's another thing. Getting it out there right now. If you would like to enjoy nice content like this on all that stuff, come join my Patreon. I tell about stories about my time out of prospecting, rock hounding, and all that stuff. So look out there. So you should always buy if you're new to buying pay dirt. Know the person. Clash is well known on YouTube, just like Dan Hurd and his stuff. Cool dude. No overpriced, no offense. Again, this video is no offense to anyone. If you know the shipping, don't do that. Either if you're... Ugh, here's an idea for you, Clash. I mean, I get it if it was shipping in international. $10. Easy. It's probably 15 to 20 for Canada. To Canada. But... You basically are doing what Miller said. You're, yeah. So I just had to get my two cents out there. Clash, you're still a cool guy. You, I like watching you do all out there finding stuff. But your own material used to be like this. Now it's like that. So yeah, don't forget to like, comment, share out there, subscribe for more truth of pay dirt, the old pay dirt. So, as I always say, it's not just a hobby, it's a lifestyle. You, yes you, wherever you are, keep being you. Hey everyone, sorry, I gotta see this. P.S. Clash, I would understand if you if you blocked me from Facebook, email, or anything. I wouldn't blame you. But please do better with your website. There should always be an option of shipping. Let USBS be the scammers, not you. Keep being cool, dude. Okay? Do better, please. For all of us that do shipping, it's making us look bad. I've been, I'm hurting in shipping myself because of what's going on. And people like what's going on with your shipping. So please, do better. You're still cool, dude. Later.